guessing we're inside the tower that we just went into. A couple of things around us. Nothingness. Okay. A couple of things, couple of things. So let's start with the table in front of us. There's an opening that cannot be opened yet. Some kind of red sphere in the middle. There's another opening at the top that I cannot zoom into. Oh, this just go all around. Red circles, refract, ref refractive circles? What in the world? Well, this can change to whatever you need it to be. So I guess, I'm guessing we're gonna have multiple keys. There's a hexagon in the table that need, like, they can fit something into it. And we have this other hexagon right here that I guess cannot move yet. Wait, it looks like something could fit in here, so that's whatever fitting he fits in here. Control this mechanism right here on the top. Can zoom into it. Let's go around with our trusty eyepiece and see if we notice anything different. Nothing so far, so the box, we'll leave the box, we'll move on to the next table. Wait, there was, no, go away. So, I think there's some kind of, I don't even know how I clicked on it. No, it's definitely here, but I don't know how to click on it. It's not this, is it? It is that. Okay, so it's, it says there's an experiment 1.27. And then subject Alpha 17, Lamperna Arata. The subject is unresponsive to post-mortem app of serum number 04, combined with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100 MA. Corpus degradation considerable with high amperes. Conclude Coleoptera unsuitable for further study interesting we have some kind of laboratory then wait we have more of those red um refractive circles so i'm not able to do anything with it just yet but eventually We have to do some kind of like, um, wait, I can see through this. It's pointing to that, but I can't do anything with it just yet. So I'm guessing once the machine turns on, I'm just going to have to reflect the beam through all the red reflective surfaces. It's starting to look like it. There's something inside of this. But, it's sealed tight and I cannot see what's inside. I can tell there's something inside, but I cannot see it. Now this is something. A re recess with electrical connections inside. Wait, this moved. It won't lock yet. Or maybe it's just a pulse. Okay. Can I do anything else in this area? E 
doesn't seem to be the case. So we move on. Next in our list, cabinet with a lot of things. So down here we have a number one. Open it, we have another note for the experiment. Experiment 2.07, subject beta 4, ratus ratus. Subject necrosis significantly halted by premortem app of serum number 05. Temporary musculature reflex restoration witnessed with postmortem electrical stimulation of range 75 to 85 microamperes. I'm trying to think what the M is for. It's amperes, it's electricity, but still. So we have star shaped indentation. So we know where to go if we find something like that. There's something in here. Part of the plaque is missing. Okay. Now we have we do have a screwdriver. So at least we you can see this before, without going inside. Okay, we go up here. We have one side of Oh, there's something inside. We need that. We have this thing. There's like latches on the top and the bottom, but I cannot move them. So we have to do something eventually. So there's a book. Can I can I see the book? Can I open the book? Nothing? Okay, no book then. So one or two up here. Does I'm seeing that I can do anything with those. And there's two latches and I cannot open that yet. So we keep going. Boy, before I go, do I see anything different? No, it's just the same thing that I just did. I opened the drawer so it's fine. The error means I can have I can open the drawer and I already did so I didn't I did a before the eyepiece showed me so it's good. Oh it's it's nothing I was just like it's black. Oh. Okay, here we go. Next area the board I don't think we can do anything with it but have a machine. This meter here. I can't do anything with that. Can I look through it? Not yet. This looks like where a film reel would go, so I'm guessing once I have the film, I can look at it. And we have one of these again that we have to line up. We have to line up with the red. Oh, come on. There we go. We're kind of in the middle. Could be better. Yeah, that's all we can see. Uh, nothing with the IPC there. Interesting. Have one more machine here. Okay, before we I already see some red writing and I'm gonna leave that for the end. I'm gonna see if there's anything else. This this looks like it can conduct electricity. I mean I mean everything here looks like it can read or, or conduct electricity. So have another reader. We have a switch, but it's locked, or seems to be locked. We have... What does this do? I'm just turning it, but I guess it doesn't do anything yet. Another meter. Wait, what else? Uh, Races with electrical connections inside. So 
another area where I can put something electrical and another kind of switch. Like I said, it is kind of a switch. And this contains something inside that I cannot wait. I cannot access yet. I don't think this is the right screwdriver. Yeah, this is a flathead. Oh well. I'll come back later. Down here, can I touch any of this? Well, I can't touch any of that, so I guess it's time for the magical round. Magical circle. Okay. I have no idea what that is in the middle. We're gonna look at it with this. Every time I go through a symbol, it shows me something different. It's a number. I don't know what kind of numbers could go in there or if I'm getting numbers from there. So, And we're back here. Where do we use a screwdriver? Here? Yes! Oh, I forgot about the sphere! I forgot we had this! Here? Yes. Now this is hiding something. A wooden box. Well, the inside stopped moving, so I guess that wooden bus box was keeping it powered. <laughs> I just noticed something. This box has a combination, and the combinations read written on the side in the weird letter numbers we found. But we don't need this right now. Uh, let's go out of here. Go back here. And cipher what the wooden box says. So we have squiggly lines, so as with a line across and two, one vertical line and a T upside down. So one, and this is seven, one, seven, three. Seven, three. A battery. Okay. So we have a few batteries that we need to find because there's a lot of things that need electrical power. But first place we can place a battery in is here, right? That turned on. what you can generate electricity bring it to the max bring it to the max nothing yes and we unlock this <laughs> and we brought it to the max there did we just charge the battery does the red mean like I think that's what it is. Red means no, like no battery. Green means full battery. So this is a charger. So we we can be coming back there. Now we need to find a place where we can place a battery in. And I'm guessing this is the perfect place. That turns on. Okay. For a beam of red light. It's going to cross this. Mm. 
why is it not going across fully? Oh, we can make it bigger. Okay, so we're gonna turn it so that it's reflecting out of here and into the box. Not into the box, but into into the wall. Well, that's not helpful. So I'm gonna go back here. Make sure that it's reflecting to the right spot. Now that opens something in the box. Oh, it's another reflective spot. Well, we found a star. Okay, so now the beam goes through that, comes out the top to the corner up here. And how do we move that? Come on. Let me click on you. Or can I use this? I cannot manipulate that. Manipulate. Wait. The the beam comes directly to the table again. So there's nothing star-shaped here. So we'll go to the place where there is a star-shaped indentation and that is this box. So we need to be closer. We'll turn it. Okay. Two. There's our film. A drum of images. Oh, we have our first letter of the chapter. It's a curtain sanatorium. That sounds like a psychiatric hospital. Infirmary and municipal dispensary for consumptives. Maybe not. Dear Professor de Montfalcon, Well, I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your state. I beg of you to see Madame Lucy return to the sanatorium as early as I can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Beckett. So there's some mad scientist in this place who thinks they can cure their sister. So they're keeping her away from the hospital. She needs a hospital, man. Let her be. Anyways, we have the film, so we go here. Yes, here. Okay, film goes in. Reese's with electrical connections inside. We need the battery back, don't we? Will we be able to do it then? Okay, I need the light to come this way. somewhere else. Can we move this? Nope, it's locked in there. Can we take the battery out? We can't do that either. So we definitely need to finish whatever we're doing with the beam before we can before we can take our battery back it's 
something comes out of there. Okay, let's go back to two. Still nothing. Oh, I see. I knew there was something I missed. Okay, let's turn that down. Does that work with the first one too? It's, uh, it's probably on the first one too, isn't it? I think if I had noticed it on the first one, Noticed it on the second one. Not on this side. So the other side. Yes. Of course. Of course. And now we open that. Well, interesting. We have bugs. And there is a bug missing. If the label is correct, it should be a stag beetle. I don't know where this beetle is. Can I take this? There are specimens missing, so there's... Uh, oh, this reflects, and there's an opening there. A large handle. That goes somewhere. There's another... Hidden. Hidden report. So experiment 5.01. Subject 8.H. Upper right appendage severed at glenohumeral joint. Crosses and subject holded completely via pre mort app of serum number 05. Followed by post mort app of serum number 04. Perfect musculature reflex witness with electrical stimulus at 77 and 3 fourths of mega amperes. It's not mega, it's milliamperes. Something like that. Oh well. I think I know what we were missing. Let's go to the table and to the side. So something could fit in there. And we have some kind of okay. It's not going this way, so we're going the opposite way. Rowing around me go. Na, na, na. Oh, sorry. This way. It fits in there, but I'm guessing we're not stopping at this time. We keep going. Will this reflect? That's the question. So close. Okay, so it won't reflect, so we're going back to that indenture. Because if it won't reflect, that means it might turn here. Now this will reflect. And right there. Goes across, goes inside another reflection surface. Okay. Now where is it pointing? That's the right one. We're just gonna align it very well. Does that do anything? It does. That activates both. 
and we have a second battery which we needed come on we have a bug it's a beetle a rhinoceros beetle and some random containers we have a tonic i mean we don't need any of that more books we have another one of these Experiment 13, Subject L, Cardiac Biscuits. The cross is halted indefinitely. Manual operation at 77 and 3 fourths milliampers. Facsimile of life or stored only with proximity to raw null. No farther avenues, no way back. Dear Lucy, forgive me, I was too late. Guessing it's the last one, and this was on her monkey's wife, maybe? No, sister. It was a sister. It was his sister, I forgot. Could be here, sister. I don't know. No, we have a dead specimen. Rhinoceros beetle. Beetle? Rhinoceros beetle. Right there. The name's different though. It's Dynasties Granti. Something like that. I don't really know. Well, 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 we got our other battery, so let's not waste too much time. Let's get our battery inside. Come on. Battery inside. We're gonna recharge it. Come on. Maximum, maximum potential. So, go down. Whoo, that's why we still have our screwdriver. What is this? Is it some kind of serum? A burnt out fuse. I'll discard it. I guess that's the last time we do. So it says, I'll need to replace the broken fuse. So we need to find another fuse. And we can't recharge our battery. Why? Oh, well. So, we can't see our film yet. still have this and we can't input anything in there. We need a plaque. You already opened both sides of this. Doesn't seem to be there anything missing. Here. No. Is there anything we can do right here? We have the medicinal tonic. It's some kind of indentation right here. But nothing else. The books are not useful. All of these containers are, don't have anything on them. Can I go back to two? Maybe there's something that I missed. Wait. What if I do this? I can move the switch. Nope, it's open now. I can't go back. Is there another one? No. There is a hidden bug on the bottom for some reason. And now I need to check the first one. But first, put the bug back. Now back to the first one. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I just need to find out. Nope, 
you're not. Okay, so this one, just like the other one, doesn't go back. Nothing on the bottom of this one. So hoping maybe I'll find something. Nothing. There's something with this, but what do we need to bring to this? So we're still missing two bugs. I know where one of them is. This switch is not opening. It's not moving either. Wait a minute. This can be opened. And there's a piece of a broken plaque. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I knew there was something about it, but I couldn't figure it out. Yes, and we have the plaque. Come here. And we have the new fuse. Let's go. Oh, that was, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Now we can use our second battery. We can recharge it and use it. Let's go back here. And the new fuse, please don't break. Please don't burn out like the other one. Here we go super fast. Maximum electricity. It's alive. It's alive. Now, second battery. And now, we should be able to use this machine. Finally. Let's get, let's see through it. Why? Why would you do this to me? What's with limbs? Why a limb? Okay, let's watch it. I, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm doing this. I'm gonna watch it again with the eyepiece. I guess that's what we needed. So there's two symbols. Well, there's one of our beetles, ground beef beetle. And that's two numbers, right? Let's see. Just memorize them and is this it's gonna be this one right here six and this one right here which is zero which one was this one it's a triangle white triangle so it's six zero i don't know i don't remember seeing anything that required numbers yet at least okay let's go back here add come on add one of these and we have a small metal handle it's a combination right it's a combination so that goes there on the X. And then we're gonna do six. And we're gonna do zero. That was the weirdest thing. But we have our key. Our weirdly shaped key. Our, our um, multiple uses key. I don't know what, to, uh, what else to say. 
so first how do we turn this guess we don't turn the key we just turn this is that it it's across What do you mean does it match? That's exactly it. confused this is clearly the shape oh the top didn't realize the top was different didn't realize the top was also included on the other well we have our last beetle and this which I don't know what it means welcome back to it let's go back and add our final beetle so we're gonna need to zoom in the most uh-huh we have one more of this so this one's gonna go there but how do we get the how do we get the beam towards it can I move this one now yes I can and right there Oh, I guess I have to move it again. And I'm guessing that's the final reflective surface. That's the final one, right? Oh, wait, what? A lens looks like it would fit my eyepiece. Why would I have to switch my lens? And there's a letter from AS. Yep, and there's a letter from AS. So he has something up his sleeve. That's for sure. Welcome. It seems to be my fate to be forever standing on the shoulders of greater men. Mont Falcon's work here makes mine appear that of a child. But he never cracked the final secret to the doors as I have. He carried with he carried with he carried with him the key all along, and he never realized the soul is the root of the null. It comes down to a simple trade, mine for hers, and hers for yours. The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well and don't look back. Whatever you see here, do never look back. Okay, so you gave me a new lens. Yep, it's not red anymore, it's green. And what does this mean? Uh, since A equals pi minus something. Can't even read it. Some it's a lot of No, it's just a giant it's just a giant equation. I was going to try to read it, but it's just a giant equation, and I'm not going to try to. We do have, however, this diagram. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it means. 
so we have this one everything towards it there's no one two three is there anything else around the room no it's just the same equation all around the room I guess Yep, it's just a never-ending equation. The walls, everything's full of equations. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's one circle towards the top. One is okay. One's okay. Bottom. No, 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 no. Go back here. Go back here. No, not here. Here. So one of them is here. One of them is there. sure what the order is is it like no, I'm not sure how to Nothing. What else can we see? Wait, there's another one here. So we have the two stars. Sorry, no, it's, it's a star, but it's a triangle on top of a triangle. There's one. And then we have the triangle that has this triangle in the middle. And then here at the table, we saw the last. So it's those three. But, which is the order? Nothing. That's it, those are the three. Now what? That really scared me. I wasn't expecting it to work. I had tried all of the combinations except the correct one, and that really, really made me jump. Ooh. And this didn't help. Okay. Um, excuse.
excuse me? Excuse me, is that a heart? Well, we opened the portal again. Wait, that's it? It doesn't look like we switched places. And why can I see the door? We can't even move. We can't move. This is it. There's a sphere. So, does that mean we're officially... Okay. Okay, so red, green. Okay. That's it. Okay, green. Green to form the second side. And that's the correct door. What in the world? Wait, that, w that was the first room. We are in the original house. This is the original house. And it's being destroyed in front of our very eyes. That's it? That's the end? What? I did not expect that. Game complete. Congratulations, you have completed the room too. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the many mysteries held within this most unique space. You fled the laboratory and escaped the confounded house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is an absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somehow coordinated samples which exert some form of control over these curious events. Professor de Monfalcon, 19th November 1903. So, somehow, first, so the room one, that game was all about AS. We didn't know who he was. He somehow, at the end of the room one, he somehow opened this this uh, portals into other places and then through room two we've just we're just traveling through all the places following a behind a yes and somehow we end with professor de Falcon in his room and professor de Falcon was doing the same experience that as was and he somehow ended up in A.S.'s room. That's the most bizarre thing. 